What's going on YouTube? GSNoid here. So in today's video, I'm going to release the Falza for iOS 12 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2 with no jailbreak. So yeah, just a few minutes ago, I posted on Twitter in here that I released the Geo Falza. This is how I named it because, you know, the previous versions for iOS 11 and so on were called Falza Jailed, Falza Electrocuted and so on. So this one is called Geo Falza so that you can differentiate which one it is. And this one works on iOS 12.0 0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. I made this so that you can browse your file system and you know do some light modifications to the files and so on but you should keep in mind that this doesn't have a remount so you will be able to write to var which is a lot of folders and you can edit your game saves and stuff like that it does allow you to do that and temp. So um, what you cannot do is to write to the uh, main partition of the system but that only contains binaries and stuff like that and some system configuration files you may be interested in but you cannot access. You can read them though but you cannot change them everything else in the var can be modified and that is where you have the games installed and applications so you can modify your high score or whatever so yeah how you install it well i published the ipa file on my github account in here this is my developer profile on github and um, you can actually go ahead in here on geofalza link will be in the description down below and as you can see you have the information in here now this doesn't work with a12 devices for the moment so no iphone 10s 10s max or 10r and no iphone 6 ipod touch 6 or iphone 5s for the moment all you have to do is to press in here on the ipa press download and it will start the download and you have to sideload this with cd impactor so you're going to get cd impactor for mac os windows or linux if that's your thing and you're going to just open it and sideload it so yeah i have the ipa file in here and as i said you don't need a jailbreak this one contains the exploit and contains the um functions to escape the sandbox and stuff like that i baked everything into one file so you don't need a jailbreak so yeah, you can use it before jailbreak releases. Oh yeah, you also don't need the Osiris jailbreak for this. You don't need to install it, it's just a separate thing. So yeah, we're going to open CD Impactor and I'm going to drag it and drop it in here. And of course, sign in with the Apple account. I'm gonna be right back. All right, so I'm here on the uh, phone and as you can see, it has been installed. Geo files are in here. But if I press on it, it's going to tell me untrusted developer. So we're going to have to go to settings, to general, and then you're going to scroll here to device management and press your email address, press trust trust and you will be good to go. So when you open it now, it's going to show you a white screen for a few seconds and then it's going to load. In that time, the exploit runs. That's why it takes a while. If it crashes and reboots your phone and you have one of the supported devices, just try again. It means that the exploit failed. So I'm going to open it. And as you can see here, now it does its thing. It shows a white screen, but in the meantime, in the background, the um, voucher swap exploit runs and we're going to get root. We're going to get sandbox escape and so on for the application and once that is ready the application will pop up and there we go so yeah I can now go ahead in here and as you can see I am able to browse everything in here and I can even prove you that this has been installed by me because I can go ahead in here on um, let's say var so I'm going to search for var and as you can see down below you have a file called GeoSnow files which has been created today February 4 so yeah this is how you do it now if I go ahead in here on uh, system for example I can see all the system files go to system library uh, there should be core services and as you can see I can go ahead in here and there is the system version .plist file so I'm going to open it and as you can see if I open the um, you know dictionary it contains the version iOS 12.1.2 as you can see that's what I'm running so yeah that's how you do it and and it works pretty fine. So yeah, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. If you appreciate my work, which has been a lot of work to make this, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a like and you can thank me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'm Geosnow. Peace out.